Hey there, today we are covering the e-panel of the Divi themes from elegantthemes.com. If you'd like to find this, you can log into your WordPress website, scroll down to find your Divi all the way at the bottom of your left hand sidebar, and then you just click on the Divi menu. This will take you straight to the e-panel. And what's great about this is it allows you to create and set all of your settings for the Divi theme. It's really nice because it has so many different integrated settings, such as general settings, navigation, layout settings, ad management, SEO integration, and support docs. It's really nice. I love the way that Divi has this set up. It makes it really easy for us to go in and change the settings that we want in a very easy manner. So first of all, if you go to the ePanel of your Divi theme in your WordPress website, you can go ahead and find the general settings. And right here at the very top, you'll find a logo and favicon. So first of all, the logo, if you go ahead and click on upload image, you will find all of your images here and you can upload it from there. And your logo will actually be displayed at the top left hand corner. Next, if you go to your favicon, this will actually be found in this area. So when you're audience members are trying to search for you and they're typing in your URL, they will find your little favicon right here, the top left hand corner, as well as these little boxes here. You can see, for instance, the Cora favicon, Hootsuite, and Linda, for example. Next, you will find that you can do the fixed navigation bar. This is where the navigation bar you will find right here will follow the users all the way down the page as they scroll, which is really nice and convenient for them to be able to easily access your navigation bar and your menu settings. So moving forward, you can also grab the first post image right here and blog style mode. Just so you know and you are aware, if you have any questions about any of these settings, one great thing that Elegant Themes has integrated are these great little red question mark boxes. All you have to do is click on that and a nice little box of explanation pops up right before you. And you'll notice that these are in every single settings. So they make it really easy for you to get the information you need if you don't quite understand what each little setting is for or what it will do. Next, one reason I love Divi theme is because it integrates with WooCommerce so beautifully. It makes it so that it's really easy to integrate with WooCommerce and it makes it look very natural. You will be able to click the sidebar, whether you want a full width, left sidebar, or right sidebar for your shop and category pages. Next, if you're trying to do any email marketing, this is a great place to find it. You'll find the email API keys and authorization codes to put in for MailChimp and Aweber, which are basic hosting services for email hosting. If you're interested in getting those set up, you can find that in the general settings, which is where we are still at. So if you want to put in your API key and your Aweber, that's great. This is where you would do that. Next, you'll find that right here, you will find the social media and then still your email lists here you can e enable them and disable them so that automatically pulls your lists from your host whether that's mailchimp or a webber next you'll find those social media icons when you enable these they will show at the bottom of your website you can find mine here are the four little icon tabs for social media you will find facebook twitter google plus and then the rss feed the reason why these are so great is because all you have to do is put the url of your accounts right here and they will show so that people can just click on them and go straight to your accounts next you will find that you can display the number of products posts and display uh, tags for your posts and then the date format. The reason why I love this is because if you want to just have that general setting, I'm making it so that when you have products displaying or posts displaying on your page, whether that's your blog or your shop page, if you like the display of just allowing your customers to scroll down nice and neat through your page without having to do the pagination, you, all you have to do is put a nice high number right here or the total number of your products, and it'll make it so that they don't have to constantly be clicking next to go over to their next page to look at more of your products. All they have to do is keep scrolling and they can do some nice window shopping through your site or looking through your blog posts. Next, you'll find the use excerpts when defined, which is really nice. It's that little box that pops up. It'll be in the bottom of your post when you are writing those over here. And you will also have the responsive short codes, which is really, really great to integrate the short codes onto your website because it makes it so that whenever a user is on your website, whether they are on an iPad or desktop or even a mobile phone, it is responsive and it makes it so that it shapes to the size of their web page or the page of their screen. 
which is also great because Google now makes it so that you kind of need to be responsive. You have to have a mobile friendly website in order for them to really give you some brandy points for that. Next, you'll have small Google fonts, subsets, back to the top button. I really love this back to the top button. You'll find it in the corner, right here in the right hand corner on your web page, or also your customers or audience members that come to your website will find it on their mobile app as well. That's one reason I love this is because it makes it really easy on your mobile site to be able to just scroll all the way back to the top in a really easy manner. You also have your smooth scrolling and then your custom CSS which you can insert right here and it applies to your entire site, which I really, really love, makes it very easy for us. Moving on, let's go to the navigation. You have pages, categories, and general settings. One thing you'll notice about the Divi theme and elegant themes in general, it makes it so that it has all of your pages listed right here. And if you click to have it showing, these are the items that are going to show in your top menu bar. You'll notice that mine don't necessarily match because I have many of them checked here and there's only four showing here. This is because I created a custom menu that I wanted to show for my navigation bar. But if you don't want to go through the hassle of creating a menu bar, even though it's not necessarily that time consuming, you can do it right here and exclude pages from the navigation bar or include pages. And what's nice is whenever you create a new page, it automatically adds that into the menu bar. You can show drop down menus, display home link, which I enjoy, although most, most customers really know just to go to the logo and that'll take you to the home page. You can sort pages by links, order pages by links, and the number of drop downs. Next, you'll find the categories, and this goes to the same for the navigation bar. These will show up in the navigation bar if you have them clicked as a check mark instead of an X. And of course, if you, this is a really important fact, if you create a custom menu just like I did, then your custom menu overrides these. So whether or not you have these checked or not, if you have a custom menu set for your navigation bar, that's what's going to show. Same as the pages and then your general settings where you can disable the top, the drop down menu links. Next, let's go to the layout settings where you'll find single post layout, single page layout, and general settings. What's nice about this is you can be decide what shows. You know the metadata that goes below your post. You can show if you want your author to show, the date, categories, and comments. It's really nice to be able to have this because some people don't like to show the date, some don't like to show the author, some don't like categories, and others just like to show all of it. It's really nice and easy to find in your e-panel right here. You can show the comments in the post and place thumbs on the post here. Next is a single page layout, and it's about the same settings here, and then the general settings, which are also just for general post info section. Let's go to the ad management now, where you can manage unwidgetized advertisements. This is fantastic. I've been able to use this for some of my clients and I love it. It makes it really easy. When you go to the ePanel and ad management, you can so easily put in a banner image, an advertising destination URL, and your AdSense code, which is really simple and easy to use. All you have to do is click and insert it here. It makes it really easy for you to use. And once again, just a reminder, if you have any questions about it, all you have to do is click on this nice little red check question mark and you'll get all of your questions answered. Moving on to SEO, which we all know is really important for your website. This is a really important tab that I really suggest going through after you've set up your general settings and navigation. I feel that SEO is one of the top sections that you need to go over. We have the home page SEO, single post page SEO, and index page SEO. What's great is you can go through this and you can create your Meta description, which is found through the search engines. It's really important for SEO for this to be found. The titles, you can set up all of your SEO information here. You have meta keywords, which is keywords that you wanna be found for or ranked in in Google and other search engines. You can decide how to display your custom titles, which is up here in the corner you'll find in the tab, and then you can define how to display them. I really like this, makes it really easy, and it helps you integrate your site SEO friendly right off the bat without having to do a lot of work. Next, you wanna be able to do the single post page. You'll notice that if you go through, you can set all of these up just like I said in a really easy manner, and it makes it so that you're already ready to go right off the bat with SEO. Next, you can do integration. I use integration quite often because I like to use 
these little areas right here, these boxes where you can add code to your head of your blog, add code to the body, and of course, add code to the top of your post and add code to the bottom of your post. This is really nice because it makes it so that you could integrate code into the header of your website so that it goes through your site. And you can also enable all of these right here. Makes it really easy and simple for you to find. And then finally, if you have any questions and you weren't able to get them answered by these little boxes or through this video, all you have to do is go to support docs and elegant themes, as fantastic as they are, have left you a great Divi documentation that describes just for the Divi theme, not just for all of their themes, but specifically for the Divi theme, how to get all of your answers for your questions. They go through all the different sections and anything that they cover pretty much everything that you could possibly ask. And even if you don't get any of those answered, they also have a support forum. If you still have any questions, please feel free to check out my other videos to get more information on Divi and how you can make it work for your business. Thanks and have a fantastic day.